I am not only going to give you a formula that will allow you to get the 16 product ideas in under five minutes using this formula, but this formula also ensures that those product ideas actually work. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Sold Out Launch Hackathon. It's a four part video series where I'm gonna be taking you from literally no idea on what you should be launching or creating to an actual breathing, living, breathing product ready to launch. And this entire video series is based on the Sold Out Launch framework, which is, which basically has three main pillars. Um, the pillar of consumer psychology, the pillar of the 80-20 launch rule, and the pillar of the functional behavioral leverage. But the pillar that I wanna focus on today is the consumer psychology. And the idea behind consumer psychology is to know exactly what makes people buy and then sell it to them, not tiptoe around the sale for months, even years, giving them adding value, creating, building a list, uh, tiptoeing around the idea of sale and never really making any money. The idea is to create an offer that's so compelling that it immediately turns a list, your list of subscribers into a list of buyers. So it's very counterintuitive to what you have all, what you see on the internet, which is all about list building, because my uh, business is based around the concept of creating a list of buyers and not just a list of subscribers. So uh, my own list is more than 20% of my own list is a list of is, uh, are buyers. They're not just there for the freebie hunt. They're not just there for the freebies because again, we want people to see you as a bookshop, not as a library. And the first step to making that shift to getting people to see you as someone who has a business and who actually charges money for her business is to create an offer that is so compelling that it immediately converts the majority of your list into buyers. Now, how do we do that? We do that by creating a super compelling offer. And again, this offer is based on the concept of consumer psychology. And in this video, I am not only going to give you a formula that will allow you to get the 16 product ideas in under five minutes using this formula, but this formula also ensures that those product ideas actually work because um, most business advice on product creation or idea generation is a little bit backward because what most people would tell you is to create a product that solves a problem, right? But here's, here's, the, here's, here's, the, here's the dilemma. If you solve a problem and if it's a big problem, the, the, the eradication of that problem is a really long journey. It, it is often a multi-dimensional situation. You can't just solve that problem in one go. And when you try to, when you try to create one course or one product that solves that problem for good or forever, it may take you months or even years to create that product. And that product is literally a gigantic uh, course or something or offer that literally may may um, may take months or years to create and the problem is even when you create it and you position it and you try to sell it um, it's really hard for people to accept it as the magical solution because it's just too good to be true and they also don't believe in their own ability to get those results so the best way to um, to create a product that immediately compels people to buy um, is to follow what I call the dread to dream journey so Sold Out Launch is the entire framework of Sold Out Launch is based on Bread to Dream journey. And the idea behind the Bread to Dream journey is to imagine your ideal buyer in her dread situation or an existing situation where you, she's miserable, she's stuck in, um, let's just say, in a really shitty job with a really shitty boss, and she is stuck in that situation of bread. And you want to take her to her dream situation, which probably is her dream job, right? Now, what most people do is they would create one product that literally takes them from bread to dream in one full swoop. Now that giant ass product is really hard to create, really hard to sell. And it's really hard for your client to believe that that one giant product is going to solve her problems. So what I recommend you do is to create a first product which only offers a 20% relief. So a product that takes her 20% away from the dread situation and 20% closer to the, dream, to the dream situation. So it's, it does not eradicate their problem fully. It only provides 20% relief. Now, the beauty of providing a 20% relief is that it seems doable. 
So if I'm your ideal buyer and you tell me that I am going to provide you, I'm going to make your life a little bit easier. It's not going to be a total transformation. Your life is not, your, all your problems will not be gone, but your life will be 20% better. It's easy for her to believe you, right? It's easy for her to even believe in or her own ability to get those results. And it also creates those quick wins, those low hanging fruits that will make her trust you more. So as an example, taking the same example of someone who's stuck in a shitty job, a 20% product could be um, something that makes her life easier, but within the same situation. So she, you have, you're not telling her to get her a new job. All you're saying is that you will make her situation a little bit better in that same situation where she is. Then your next product could be a 40% product, a 40% improvement, which make which improves her situation by 40%. And the next step could be a 60% improvement, which improves her situation by 60%. And then or only then you create the total transformation product, which literally takes her from her dread situation to her dream situation. Right. But in that process, while you're creating those 20 percent and 40 percent and 60 percent, you're constantly turning your subscribers into buyers. You're literally positioning yourself as a bookshop and not a library. Now, the formula to getting those 16 product ideas on just one dread to dream journey is this. So let's just say you want to offer a 20% relief. How do you offer that 20% relief? And I recommend doing it from four different angles. You don't have to create all four products, but you can do it from four different angles. So one angle could be that you improve her situation by 20% by teaching her how to leverage her existing skills, right? The second situation would be where you offer her 20% improvement by, by teaching her how to leverage new skills. The third angle could be where you tell her how to get 20% improvement by leveraging existing resources. And the fourth one is where you could teach her how to improve her situation 20% by leveraging some new resources. As an example, and I know everyone is looking for an example, so let's just say leveraging existing skills. You could say something like get a 20,000 raise by positioning your expertise as a must have for the company. So it's an existing skill, right? She already has an expertise. All you're saying is you will allow her to get a 20,000 raise by positioning her existing skill set as a must have for the company. The second angle, which is leveraging a new skill could be something like, um, learn the body language of winners and get a 20,000 raise by, by learning this new way to, to, to move or this new way to, to carry yourself, right? So it's leveraging a new skill. The third angle is by leveraging existing resources. So you could say something like how to lobby with your coworkers to get a 10,000 raise. Now here, what you're saying is that existing resources, right? The coworkers are already there. She's already a part of that space. All you're teaching her is how to leverage those existing existing resources, those existing core workers to get a 10,000 raise. And the fourth one is by leveraging new resources. So it could be something like how to use blogging to position yourself as a subject matter expert and therefore command your whatever you want to command in your existing job. So as you can see, all of these are 20% improvement products, but taking it from four different angles could mean that you could create four different products. And then you do it for a 40% and 60% in total transformation. So there you have it, 16 different highly profitable product ideas in under five minutes. And here's the catch, not the catch, actually it's a good catch. Here is the, the, the cool thing about this. All of these, because they seem believable to your buyer, because they offer a relief that she could visualize herself as achieving, they're far easier to sell. Interesting, right? Okay. So this is what you should do next. You should come to 60 Second Persuasion Facebook group and bring your product ideas and share them in the group using the hashtag SOL Hackathon. So we are, we are trying to hack the sold out launch and we would love to critique your ideas to see what ideas you came up with using these four questions and the bread to dream journey. This is Bushra Azhar signing off and I will see you soon with another video on SOL.